All right, welcome back to FN TV, and we're here in the heart of the Ericsson stand. It's buzzing, people having meetings, lunch, it's really all happening, and I'm so excited to speak to three experts around the future of travel and airports. I've got, my, I've got here Hakim, we'll start with you, and maybe you can give us the point of view of the airports and the airlines. Why are they investing in connectivity to improve their operations? For me, it's, uh, it's the same for Airbus and the manufacturing sites we have. It's about uh, efficiency, uh, ramp up in the production. Uh, airports today are facing main challenges for expansion and you know time and resources. So it's about the same thing. You know, I have to build uh, a good, robust network. It's the foundation for any uh, you know quality operations and so forth in the in the airport. And Anastasia. Why, why 5G? What's uh, so attractive about the solution and, and uh, what purpose does it serve? Well, first I'll say why with, not without it. Without it we have a, a different number of fragmented technologies basically. Wi-Fi, LoRaWAN, satellite, fiber and whatnot. Each of them has a different end of life, technology roadmap, so it's very hard to scale. And as we are migrating closer to having a platform view of the world, so connectivity has to be a platform. Also 5G can also replace that uh, low band connectivity, so we can also have that mission critical communication element. And let me ask you, Regina, of course, Ericsson has been so kind to put this panel together. You're talking all about those partnerships and uh, the ecosystem. Why is that so important? What role do CSPs, do companies like Airbus, Capgemini, and, and Ericsson and other system integrators play in, in delivering this future? Thank you. So uh, airport itself is an ecosystem. There's so many players interacting with each other, having sometimes conflicting agendas, uh, but also working for the same goal. Uh, so already there we need to have an ecosystem and a collaboration of partnerships. But once we have that established, we also need to have the end-to-end -end solution. And there's literally no single company who's able to deliver end-to-end -end for product side, or services or solution side. So that's why we need to have a partnership from the network vendor side, everyone who's building solutions on top, with the clouds, with the applications and services. And we obviously need system integrators to really orchestrate that all together and sometimes manage it for the clients as well. So it's impossible without collaboration. So on that thought, let me give each of you an opportunity to tell me what's next. Uh, Anastasia, why don't we start with you? Where are we headed in this transformation and, and 5G being a part of that as we look ahead? I would say that uh, we expect more um, rollout at scale now. And I think a key driver in the next few years is going to be replacement of mission critical communications and transitioning to 5G. Excellent. Hakim, any thoughts? Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, once you have started building foundations, you, You'll build the business on top of it. So the value comes from, you know, at airports, from managing the ground operations, and maybe at the beginning, simple applications. But after this, we were talking in the panel about AI, about the, the aircraft that produces data that can feed the airports with its own data, you know, camera vision and so forth, but also consumes data from the airport uh, in, in the other side. So. That's what we see when it starts to scale, uh, but that's maybe a journey uh, or a few months away, we'll see. <laughs> Excellent. And Regina, what about you? Well, on top of everything already being said, uh, there is also an element of not connecting one single airport in isolation. It's a network of airports, right? The airlines and aircrafts are operating across, flying from one to the other to the next, right? So what we need to make sure is that that data is interconnected, so it's an interconnected network of airports. Uh, so that's a technology evolution, that's standardization evolution, and I'm pretty sure we'll get there because as a mobile industry, we got it done on a global scale, so there's no reason why we don't be able to solve it for the airline industry specifically. Excellent. Well, lots to look forward to, and I'll make sure I think of all of your hard work as I travel home swiftly and comfortably in an airport here in Barcelona. Thank you so much for joining FN TV today.